Well, number one, that's not true. Plant proteins have all the essential amino acids as well. They're just not as even. In other words, they're all present, but just some are lower than others. In animal products, they're all at the same key, even keel. So they're all at a high level of, of um, a, a high amounts, the more even amounts. So because the levels in plant proteins, some foods are, have amino acids at more than others, with all the different plant foods we eat in a day, we're still getting the full gamut, gamut of amino acids and the right biological effects. It's just it takes a few hours for the body to balance it out, and we can save amino acids in our brush border of the villi, and we save amino acids by recirculating bacterial cells and digestive cells, and the body can conserve amino acids in the bloodstream until they become more complete, which means we, utilize, we, we form biologically complete proteins within the blood over a period of hours, making our hormones hormones function more normally. What I'm saying right here is that the biological completeness of animal products is what makes them unfavorable. The, incomplete, the incompleteness of plant proteins, the relative incompleteness, not totally incomplete, they still have all the essential amino acids present, they're just not in the same amounts. But their relative incompleteness is what makes them more favorable because they're not going to rush into the bloodstream and be all utilized so quickly so they can't push up hormones too high. It makes them, so that's what makes them one of the reasons they're beneficial. So we learned this in elementary school. We learned that the high biological value of animal proteins made them more favorable because the rat will grow faster. But now we know that the rats that grow the fastest die the youngest and that we don't want our kids to grow fast. Our children that grow slower live longer. We mark a woman's risk of breast cancer by her age of puberty. And we mark a man's, a man's um, risk of prostate cancer by how old he was when his beard came in. When we develop pubic hairs, the point is, if we feed them more animal products, they'll have more growth hormone, they'll grow faster, they'll develop puberty, we'll have girls going through puberty age 8, 9, and 10, and then those are probably prone to breast cancer because they have too many of these hormones circulating. So this is the exact opposite of what we want to achieve. Even though you learned this, you learned it wrong. Sorry.